It's definitely a different time back then. Uh, and, I, and I feel like what I would have enjoyed the most is the, uh, the extreme camaraderie. We still have a large amount of camaraderie in today's Navy, but I don't believe to the same degree that they must have had back then due to the extremes of the workload, due to the extremes of the living conditions, and just the environment in general. Um, so that camaraderie would have been probably the best part. So a Gunner's Bates job in 1812 would have been pretty similar to, to kind of the same thing that a Gunner's Bates job is in the, the modern day Navy. For example, the, the scaling of the round shot or um, inspecting it, making sure that it's round, making sure that it's uh, rust free and it's going to be good to fire through the, uh, through the guns. Same thing, a gunner's mate in today's Navy is constantly going to be inspecting his ammunition, making sure that if it's uh, belt fed, that the links are going to be rust free, um, that the ammunition is going to be fully ready to go. For most of the public, this is the first time they get to see somebody who's an active duty sailor. Uh, so for a lot of them, we really are the face of the Navy. Um, we represent to them, uh, hopefully, a sense of professionalism and, uh, and a military presence, but also we do provide that historical background and hopefully tie that into kind of a sense of pride. It's a lot of work. Um, it's an honor. It's a privilege. We truly are. We're, we're proud to be here. It's a 216-year-old ship, 217 years old this year. And we really are proud to be here. And it's, it's enjoyable to talk to the public, to kind of teach them a little here and there, by getting them to participate and laugh with you. And if you do it right, it's a lot of fun.